Oh, here we are again. Another week, another sales video, another hidden code in the top comment. What? That was weird. Anyway, so this week we're going to be looking at the sales going on, the best ones. As usual, I'll try and pick out ones that don't get mentioned every single week, but there's going to be some in there that just switch regions and maybe hit their all-time lowest price. What have you guys been playing this week? Have you picked up anything new or have you managed to actually tackle some of that backlog? Thanks to all of you who have subscribed recently. We really do appreciate it as we march towards 200,000 crazy stuff. Leave your normal comments on the video. We'll make sure we give away a few copies of a code probably children of mortar as we've got about three or four of those left but congrats to the people that won a copy on our last few videos if you enjoy the channel then do consider sticking around what are the best games on sale at the moment let's find out Straight off the bat then, and one that we have mentioned quite a few times, but the UK has seen a decent drop. We've got 75% off Tales of Vesperia, the definitive edition here in the UK. It's a brilliant JRPG, it's got a nice little story, a number of playable characters, including two new ones, Patty Fleur and Flynn Skiffo. Is it Skifo? Skifo? It has one to four player offline as well, which is pretty sweet. Not something you usually find in a JRPG. And it has a download size of 13.1 gigs. Make sure you've got room in your backlog though, because this is like a hundred plus hour long game. That sale goes on until the 30th of April. <laughs> Certainly worth buying at 80% off for £2.69 is the Braveland Trilogy. This comes from Tortuga Team, has offline one or two player, and is an old school feeling turn based strategy using that hexagonal grid system we used to see quite often. It's not a game that I would recommend people picking up for full price, but for two quid, it's definitely worth that. There's a lot of gameplay here. There's loads of different levels to work your way through. In fact, I think there are 200 different battles and lots of chapters. It doesn't get mentioned often, but I'm happy to recommend it at that price. I'm a big fan of tactical turn-based games like XCOM and Spaceland is a nice little chunk of that style of gameplay. You arrive at a new planet soon after the story begins and it all kicks off pretty quickly. What I like about this one is, well, with my kind of lifestyle, I haven't got a huge amount of time to sit there and play. And with XCOM 2, you can spend hours on single missions. These are like bite-sized missions taking about 10 to 15 minutes. Performance is decent as well, and I like that art style. It's only 537 megs, so it's going to fit nicely into my minimal space on my uh, SD card. That sale goes on until May the 9th, and it's 66% off. Blind Forest, one of the best games on the Nintendo Switch, is down to its all-time lowest price. It's 30% off, taking it down to £10.49, pence, which is an absolute steal. You're looking at about 10 to 12 hours of pure Metroidvania with a beautiful Studio Ghibli style artwork draped over the top. It has a fully orchestrated score, some really lovely characters, and it's just a purely enjoyable time definitely worth picking up if you've not played it yet and I know I said I'd mention it a couple of weeks ago when we had the sequel and I know a few of you didn't want to play that first so fair play to you now's the time this one's 3.5 gigs and that sale goes on until April the 30th Axion Verge is one I held off for quite a while. I don't really know why, I just did. Glenn was recommending it constantly. And I finally got it now that it's its lowest ever price. It's 50% off, but it's a brilliant game. It has a large world for you to explore and traverse. There are loads of different weapons, items and abilities. And there are some excellent boss fights in here as well. It's not run of the mill. It's one of those you'll play and think, my goodness, why, why have I left it so long? It's only a 214 megabyte download. It will take you around about 15 to 20 hours to finish. And that sale goes on until April the 29th.
Next up, we've got Tangle Tower. I'd say this was a bit of a hidden gem on the Switch. It's 40% off, taking it down to its lowest price ever, and that's until May the 1st. It's only a short little game. It's only around about six hours long, but it's a classic style adventure puzzle game where you're trying to unravel a mystery that's set around a twisted mansion. I'm getting Day of the Tentacle vibes. This is my pickup for the week. I've only put in a few, well, I've only played really for about half an hour, but it also has very good Metacritic scores, a fully voice acted cast of characters. There's an original original soundtrack here that is pretty decent and similar to awesome ones like Jenny LeClue it's got its own humor and it's just very fun to play I think you'll know if this one appeals to you but yeah I think it's worth picking up it has a download size of just 636 megs where do you think it goes down Then we've got Aragami the Shadow Edition. We've got a review of this one on the channel and there is a sequel in development as well, but it's a Tenchu Stealth Assassin style game. It's not as good as that. I much prefer the just the brutal blood and guts. Well, that's what I remember. It's probably like pixelated, isn't it now if I went back? But Tenchu was an absolute classic. Anyway, we're not talking about Tenchu, we're talking about Aragami. It's decent, you can shadow jump from shadows to shadows. I had a bit of an issue with shadow draw distance, but it still runs well enough on the Switch. And if you can find uh, a friend to join you online, it's much more fun playing through in co-op. It gets a bit repetitive in the second half, but for 60% off, so around about $12 or your regional equivalent, it's, it's definitely worth that price. You're looking at a 3.6 gigabyte download and around about 15 to 20 hours to complete and do everything. That sale goes on until May the 12th. For those of us who are ancient, you'll remember things like Sid Meier's Pirates. Well, Under the Jolly Roger isn't Sid Meier's Pirates, but it's as close as we're going to get on the Nintendo Switch. You can capture other vessels, do them up, buy, sell, plunder, trade, you know the drill. You can travel anywhere on the map. There's loads of different missions for you to do. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was decent. It had a few bugs, but it's had a couple of patches since launch. But I'm a big fan of this style of game, and, and it ran quite quite reasonably as well. I was actually quite impressed. It's a 1.4 gigabyte download. Again, we've got a full review, so go check that out. It's not the prettiest experience, and there's certainly a bit of mobile about it. In fact, I believe they took the mobile version, renamed it, and then did it up for the Switch. But the actual core gameplay is fun if you enjoy this style. That sale goes on until May the 13th, and it's 35% off. If you're after a real hidden gem, then go for something like Tangle Deep. This is 40% off at the moment, and there is actually a review of this one, a switch up review that I believe was written by Evan, who used to write for us, but he absolutely loved it. Now it combines the 16-bit graphics of like an old school RPG with some roguelite and dungeon crawler elements. Now they've added quite a large update since we reviewed this one that's completely free called the Legend of Shara expansion content. That includes a new master key, but the gameplay itself has 13 different job classes and over 100 different skills. It's got a great soundtrack, and with that Legend of Shara, Shara they included another job, the 13th job, the Calligrapher, who has two weapons, an elemental scroll, and some devastating combo attacks, as well as raising the level cap. But as you know, we really love it when developers go back and give you free content. It's what they used to do back in the day, and I would support that by picking this one up if you're looking for just one game this week. I don't know where it ends, but it starts here. I'm ready. Are you? Okay, before we look at the two games you should avoid then, we have our hidden gem of the week. And this week, it's a game called Space Cows. In fact, it's called an utterly cheesy fiction game, Space Cows. And it's 75% off, which takes it down to $2, or your regional equivalent. I was expecting this to be absolute trash. I'm not... <laughs> I really was, but it's really good. It's very fun. It plays out a little bit like a twin stick shooter featuring a uh, weaponized toilet plunger and it's all zero gravity as well. I'm a big fan of 
physics based games in general and this one's just bizarre enough to be really enjoyable. I'm holding off the urge to make an udder based joke which would be udder... no don't do it, don't do it. I like the visuals, they're punchy, it's bright, it's vibrant but everyone ignored it because they saw the name Space Cows and thought no thanks. Well here I am saying yes please. It's 1.1 gigs to download and well worth a pickup if you're looking for something completely off the wall. Deliver our best records to Pepsi and save cows in this utterly cheesy fiction game. Aha, something's milky. Space cows. And now is the time where we go and look at two games you should absolutely avoid. They're the types of games that will have you begging for a two hour refund window. And first up we have This Is The Zodiac Speaking. Now you can go and check out Glenn's review of this one, but it looked very cool. It had an interesting art style. The subject matter of the Zodiac killings should make for great gameplay. Uh, no. The controls were appalling. It was very clunky and slow. And as far as I can tell from Glenn's review, it was just an unenjoyable mess. And then you knew it was coming. We have Balan Wonderworld. It's unsurprisingly seeing massive sales across the board. You can pick this little gem up for minus 40% in Amazon and Best Buy and well pretty much anywhere. The game is a joke. It's really such a shame. It should have been incredible. It's quite funny actually because I've seen a few people <laughs> do reviews of this and and they obviously want to be con you know contrary to everyone else who's saying it's terrible. So they go through the huge list of faults that it has and they're like, but actually I really enjoyed it. So seven out of 10 and I'm like, no, it's terrible. You've just said 64 things about why it's so bad. And then you've just given it a good score because you want to be different. No, thank you very much. Now, no hate to anyone. I'm sure they enjoyed it themselves. I'm sure it was, I'm sure it was actually a great game and, and everyone else was just wrong. But don't buy Balan Wonderworld. It's awful. Thanks. That's it for this week. Let me know down in the comments what you'll be picking up. GG and congrats. Those people that keep winning codes. I think we've got four copies left. I'm probably going to stick one in a community post. There might be one hidden at the top of this video in the top comment. Um, and yeah, thanks for subscribing, enjoying the content, and thanks to our patrons who support us each and every month. I'm going to go out now and have a fire in the garden with a few pals now that the UK have finally allowed us to do such things. And I might have a beer as well. And I might have a brew as well. Happy days. For all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya! <laughs>